hi guys welcome to another audio video and i'll be reading deuteronomy 18 of the king james version bible and it reads the priest the levites and all the tribe of levi shall have no part nor inheritance with israel they shall eat the offerings of the lord made by fire and his inheritance therefore shall they have no inheritance among their brethren the lord is their in inheritance he as he hath said unto them and this shall be the priest due from the people from them that offer a sacrifice whether it be ox or sheep and they shall give unto the priest the shoulder and the two cheeks and the maw the first fruit also of thy corn of thy wine and of thine oil and the first of the fleece of thy sheep shalt thou give him for the lord thy god hath chosen him out of all thy tribes to stand to minister in the name of the lord him and his sons for ever and if a levite come from any of thy gates out of all israel where he sojourned and come with all the desire of his mind unto the place which the lord shall choose then he shall minister in the name of the lord his god all, as all his brethren the levites do which stand there before the Lord. They shall have like portions to eat beside that which cometh of the sale of his patrimony. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the, abom the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, wizard or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect in the, with the Lord thy God. For these nations which thou shalt possess are kind unto observers of times and unto the thinners. But as for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken, according to all that thou desirest, of the, of the Lord thy God, in Horeb, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I die not. And the Lord said unto me, they have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will rise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall or that shall speak in the name of other gods even that prophet shall die and if thou say in thine heart how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord if the thing follow not nor come to pass that is a thing which the Lord hath not spoken but the prophet that hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Alright guys, so there's a few little things in this chapter here, right? Where it relates to prophets and false prophets. And also where it rela relates to the Levites. And the Levites being priests. We're reminded yet again that the Levites the priests, the chosen people by God, they are set aside from the tribes of Israel, as in they have no inheritance. Their inheritance is God. So whatever God has given, just like in contemporary society, we give tithes and 
pastors are paid from that and other church employees right people who actually work for the church are paid from it that is the same way it is with the levites but the priests they're ordained by god from generation to generation it is basically their inheritance it is passed down from father to son okay and that is what he's reminding us us of right here in this chapter is also reminding us that he will actually raise up a prophet in the space of Moses right and we know that Moses had passed on the mantle okay um so it's just telling us what has actually happened okay and things to come also right all right so guys that's it nothing in depth that i'm gonna speak on here i think everybody this speaks for itself in and of itself so i don't need to elaborate on it all right guys please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted whenever a new audio video is posted and guys don't forget to share your revelations your thoughts and your comments down below in the comment section have yourselves a blessed day Bye.